a recently renamed and revamped resort with an attractive pool complex that now shares part of its name with one of the old faithful budget-minded resorts in Orlando. But unlike the Avanti International, this resort puts you within two stone throws away from Universal's Volcano Bay. If you do test this out, just be careful that the first stone doesn't hit one of the many moving vehicles on the many lanes of highway traffic that separates you. Hi, I'm the Frugal Brit. My mission is to review every hotel resort near Disney World and Orlando. And for this video, we're back on International Drive, where I'll be providing a breakdown of the good and the not so good reviews of the Avanti Palms Resort and Conference Center. And at the end, I'll look to provide some hopefully useful tips to help in getting the best out of any vacation here. But before we get into all that, I'll outline the key features of this popular resort. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more Orlando vacation content. All right, so this review is coming from a vacationer's perspective. So if by chance you're interested in booking an event or a conference, you won't get the info you need here, unfortunately. Avanti Palms is located towards the top end of International Drive on the west side. It's a popular location being only around a 20 minute walk away from the wheel at Icon Park with plenty of bars and restaurants. Do check out my top 10 restaurants on iDrive if you're interested in my top picks. Another cool thing about this location is that technically you can walk to Universal Studios. It's not the most pleasant walk, but you can do it in around 30 minutes if you head to Universal Boulevard just before the IHOP. If driving, it's about a five minute drive from there. Avanti Palms has six different hotel buildings, five of which are standard two to five story buildings, but it also has a 14 story tower separated by part of the car park. This resort comes in around $100 per night, but you do need to factor in the resort fee, which when including tax costs around $13.50 per night. It's annoying, but a lot of the offsite resorts do do this, unfortunately. So if you're staying for seven nights, that's an extra $94.50, and for 14 nights, that's $189. This resort fee covers scheduled theme park shuttles, Wi-Fi access, fitness center access, and parking. So the theme park shuttle will take you to Disney World, SeaWorld, and Universal Studios. I'll, I'll cover this in more detail later in the video. Also worth mentioning here that there is an iRide trolley stop conveniently placed just outside this resort, which will take you up and down iDrive. Standard rooms contain a 50 inch HD TV, a coffee machine with complimentary coffee, a microwave, refrigerator, iron, ironing board, and a safe. Vancy Palms provides a tropical themed pool complex that has a whirlpool spa, a kids splash pad, a sandy beach area, and a water fountain that complements the views of Volcano Bay. You have a few different dining options at Avanti Palms. If you want a sit down meal at breakfast, lunch and dinner, you have the Marketplace Cafe and Grill, which also serves Starbucks coffee. If you want to dine al fresco, you have the poolside bar and grill. And following this resort's revamp in 2018, you now have the new lobby lounge bar. Other amenities include a better than you'd think arcade room and a 24 hour fitness center. Location is a huge appeal for Avanti Palms, for two main reasons, I would say. The first being its proximity to Universal Studios. So unlike the Avanti International, this resort provides the opportunity to walk to Universal Studios. Most guests likely won't bother with this, but regardless, it will shorten your travel time on what is often a frustratingly busy road, and it will save a little on taxis. The other factor with location is the nearby restaurants, activities, and convenience stores, which certainly come in handy. The entrance lobby to the Avanti Palms is very grand and modern and it does give the appearance of a much more expensive hotel resort. And it's here where you'll find the arcade room which is well received. Much better than with a lot of the other hotel options on iDrive. You can also say the same about the fitness centre which is now over in the tower. Just like its sister resort, Avanti Palms has really impressive reviews concerning staff hospitality and professionalism, super friendly from check-in to check-out, and it's clear from my analysis that staff have put out a lot of fires at Avanti Palms, turning many one-star reviews into three-star reviews. You really have to give Paramount Hospitality Management credit here. Moving on to what is clearly the centerpiece and main attraction of this resort, the Avanti Palms Pool Complex, which is very easy on the eye and arguably better looking in the evening. 
Out of all the less favourable reviews that I saw, there was very, very few reviews from guests that were not satisfied with the pool complex and surrounding amenities. You can conveniently collect towels upon entrance, and it's little things like this that you'll rarely get from hotels under $100. It's fantastic for kids, plenty of shallow areas to play, more than enough sun loungers. The sandy beach area is also a really cool inclusion within this complex. As with the lobby area, the pool complexes had a huge investment and they've been very clever with the tropical theming, which is clearly piggybacking on the theming from Volcano Bay off in the distance, for which this resort has a fantastic view of, especially from the tower rooms facing this side. Very smart move, it's no doubt lured many people over to this resort with the promotional images. Unlike some other hotels and resorts nearby in this price range, you get a feeling of luxury in this area that exceeds expectations. So the rooms are very spacious with a modern decor and a big TV, so it's also exceeding expectations in this area. But more detail on the rooms, I'm afraid to say, will be ominously found in the next section. talked about the areas of this resort that have received a lot of investment, like the hotel entrance, the lobby area and the pool complex, but there are unfortunately a couple areas that haven't quite received the same love. So let's start with the tower building. On the outside it looks great, no issues, paintwork looks good, but when you look from the inside it does seem to resemble some sort of dystopian prison block, which was picked up by several guests. The interior courtyard is very nice with the plants and water feature, but I can't help but feel that it's not quite enough and doesn't really match the ambition of other parts of this resort. So Avanti Palms was revamped in 2018, but it's still showing some signs of old age in certain areas. It feels like this resort has ploughed all of its investment into areas that will be used and seen by those booking a conference or an event, with arguably insufficient resource put in other areas such as the cement walkways over to the hotel rooms, which I think it's fair to say are unsightly in many buildings. And for some guests, these walkways did not take you to a room that met expectations. I think the main problem here is consistency. Just like at Avanti International, not every room has received the same love following the revamp. There's an above average amount of maintenance problems at this resort such as leaking, broken door locks, issues with the grout, shower curtains. Some signs of old age are still creeping through in spite of the revamp. Some guests who have stayed here will tell you that this is escalated by poor housekeeping standards. Just like at Advanti International Resort, floors are not clean at a level most people expect. But I think part of the problem here is that they've opted to not have carpets in the rooms. And as someone that moved into a house with laminate floors, you do feel every bit of dirt on your feet and on your socks. So yeah, I do have a bit of sympathy for Avanti Palms and Avanti International. The hard floors do them no favours. One thing that did disappoint a large proportion of guests was the adjoining doors that sit between the majority of the hotel rooms in all buildings. If you're staying in a room next to someone else, you'll see light coming through the bottom of the door and you may find that you can hear each other's conversations. Like a lot of hotels on iDrive, you'll also get some noise issues from the i4 to the west. To the east of the resort on International Drive, some will say that this part of our drive is looking a bit tired when compared to other areas further south. There are signs that investment is coming though. There's a decent selection of food available at the Marketplace Cafe and Grill and the quality exceeds expectations, but there were many who said that it wasn't the best value. Most people weren't really bothered by this though because of the large number of great dining options nearby. The shuttle buses don't get the best reviews, it has to be said, as is nearly always the case with hotels in Orlando. For the Disney shuttle, it only drops you off at Hollywood Studios and pickup is only from Epcot and Magic Kingdom. The times aren't the best, if you want to stay for the fireworks, you won't make it back in time, unfortunately, for the return journey. The Disney shuttle does go to Avanti Palms first, but then it does go to four to five other resorts. And many said they felt that there was insufficient seats available. It's not going to be the best service, keep that in mind. A 
couple of other concerns that people had were insufficient parasols at poolside, inconsistent Wi-Fi and aircon units not being the quietest. In summary, this is a great value resort option on International Drive. It's typically $10 to $15 cheaper than its sister resort, the Avanti International. And when it comes to theming, it does offer a lot more. You'll certainly take better photos here at the pool area. I do really like that resorts on this part of iDrive give you the option to walk over to Universal Studios. And if the pool area is your priority with a budget of under $100 per night, it would be quite hard to make the case for staying somewhere else. But the stunning pool complex, impressive lobby and external appearances do disguise some issues that could do with a little improvement. And these improvements would help in matching the great hospitality from its staff. So with room selection, unfortunately, I can't provide any certainty regarding the best place to request a room. From my analysis, the reviews for each building on TripAdvisor were very similar, so really hard to make a confident recommendation. I did, however, notice a couple reviews where complainants had been moved over to building two. So this could indicate that management considers this to be a good choice to resolve complaints. It's the building closest to the convention center. I think the most important room selection tip I would say is to request a renovated room before and during check-in. This could really make or break. I did reach out to this hotel to see if all the rooms had adjoining doors because I know a lot of people don't like that at all. Um, they did come back to me to say most of the rooms do have adjoining doors but not every one. So definitely worth requesting that if that's an issue for you. If you want a room with a great view of Volcano Bay, you'll want to ask to stay in the tower building facing that side. Keep in mind though that you'll have to deal with the prison block aesthetics when heading out your room. And the elevators can be a bit annoying over here to wait for. If you're staying in the other buildings away from the tower, I did see some complain that with the ground floor rooms, you may hear people chatting outside the car park area. So I'd be tempted to request a room a couple floors up. If you want a room near the pool, you should specifically request a room that is facing the pool. I saw this get a couple recommendations. Well, that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my other hotel reviews on some useful links in the description. If you're interested in future Disney and Orlando vacation content and hotel reviews, don't forget to subscribe.